hello everybody, welcome to Undead, oh my god, Overexplained, game number 11. <laughs> oh dear, what is this? I think I could have got a uh, coach there and just clicked through it. Never mind. Let's receive, he appears to have loads of randoms here. Eh? That's why he's got like grabs and stuff as his juggernaut. Grab. Grab stand firm. Juggernaut. Pile driver. So yeah, he's just all randoms. So he's kind of got not that good a deal, right? Because he's got guard for 20 because he's got a waste of a grab. And he's got a guard for 20 because he's got a waste of pile driver. And then he's got stand firm because he's got for 20 because he's got a waste of grab. And he's got mighty blow, but wasted um, this juggernaut. So he's all these randoms that he's got, it's not even that good for him. Because he's kept all the shit ones. <laughs> Basically. Randoming works if you don't keep the pile driver. <laughs> but if you're gonna keep the pile driver, you haven't really you haven't really random guard anymore. If you're gonna keep the pile driver, but never mind. Okay, and I've of course lost my guard. Amazing. Sneaky get dirty player doesn't do anything because he's uh whatever he is. What is he? Um against the blitz, not too much. Because he's dwarf, so it's not like he can benefit too much. More scared of the solid defense, which of course he gets. But the solid defense is why the guys protecting against the blitz don't go on the LOS. Uh, no, Steve. I mean, they haven't updated it on tabletop yet. It's only on pre-order, isn't it? Chaos Dwarves. So, it won't be until that comes out. Until the spike comes out. And then when the spike comes out, I don't know how long it'll take from there. So the defense is getting more of his players hit, that's quite good. Did you just punch everything? No, oh, I don't have the auto clicker on. <laughs> well done, Goo. Another 3D. Um, I guess I can follow here. Because he's on a diagonal and I want to protect this guy as much as possible. Nice. Mm, 
this guy and this guy. And get a 2D on this fellow. Brilliant, only a push, just what I need, a guy with tackle punching my uh, goo. But at least it's only they're on the same bill, at least that's a good thing. And he can just stand next to the ball because he can't reach the ball. Brilliant. What a wonderful What a wonderful turn. <laughs> oh wait, that's grab. Oh no. Well, he can't surf me at least, but. <laughs> the bad part about people getting random rubbish skills like guard is, uh, like, like grab is, they can actually use it. God, that's annoying, isn't it? That's so annoying. <laughs> Gives him a follow up block that he. Uh... Wouldn't have had if he didn't know grab. I can go around the back here, can't I? So the idea going on the back is that I can surf this guy next turn uh, by pushing him to there and then pushing him to there and then pushing him off. And yes, he probably is going to blitz with the Slayer, but at least it's a 2D and a 1D. No, he blitzes with this guy instead. And uh, no, where do I go? I could go back to here, couldn't I? Well done, well done, ghoul. I <laughs> did not expect that guy to survive. <laughs> Taking three two dice blocks and being completely fine. Yeah, he's right to move in there, because otherwise I could have blitzed this guy from the corner and then chained that guy off for a serve. Which I'd still like to, I could block with him first. It's more difficult. Surf here. Block with block. Need the max blocks, don't I? So another one. And now I just want to hit him away. Okay, I mean he looks like he might surf this guy, which sucks, doesn't it? I don't really want him to surf him. See what's happening. And then, to stop him getting served, I 
This guy can blitz. Because he's armor eight, so you wanna well nine plus now, isn't it? So you wanna hit hit those guys every chance you get. I think this girl's kind of fine where he is. All the three in the rain, absolutely standard. I might as well re-roll this, I think. I've still got three. I don't want to fail to pick it up. Like, he hasn't got any heat coming on me, but... I don't want to fail if he does, right? That's the problem. I don't want to get heat on me and then fail. But I guess he's got two stuns. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll leave it this go and reroll it next turn. Problem is, I guess this guy coming around. Completely uncontested. And you could even double GFI with him, right? So it's, It could get a little bit hairy next turn. I probably should have picked up with a zombie, yeah. That, that, just ask yourself, what would Dimmy do? And the answer is probably pick up with a zombie. Next level tactics. The people's champ. Dimbo Slice. Do mummies count as fat nuke BFs? Basically, yeah, that's basically what you use. Well, kind of fleshies, right? Fleshies are kind of more. And he is going to come around with some heat. Maybe I should have rerolled that pickup. Wait a minute, though. <laughs> Wait a minute. I do kind of want to... Oh, there's a lot of things I want to do. I want to blitz this guy with the mummy. So to do that, I've got to free the mummy up with a two dice block plus block. Which means let's do the safeness first, which is stand this guy up. Or I could even block him with a block plus block. That's better. Because then the, now the mummy can still punch this guy. Right, this, this block is pretty good, isn't it? Follow up. He can block him, and then he can block him. I could GFI, which would give us an extra player. But obviously, one in thirty six is. Uh, not game losing, but terrible. Like, it's really bad, right? But it's only 3% of the time. But it's worth thinking about, because the G Fighter here gives us this punch here, and then this punch here, and then this guy on him, which makes the pickup a lot safer. I think the GFI is, is good enough to risk it for a biscuit. I should have, however, moved him there instantly. Now I want to block with him. Another blockless block. Right, he wants to go here. 
So I've got it, you can make the form the cage. And now I've just got to go for the pickup, eh? You can't score. Good pick up. Now you can go there. You can power him. You can power him. I think I've set them both down. I want to push him out. Keep everybody occupied. Disappointing to get so many knockdowns and no AV breaks. But doing a good job of keeping them controlled. That follow up there sucked a little bit, honestly, the mummy, but I had to get out of the way of this zombie so the zombie could protect the ball a bit. Tell you what, my guys have been, been doing pretty well at getting punched. To be fair, he's going to 1D. Good. I wasn't really happy about that follow, but like I had to do it, right? I had to come on the sideline. Brilliant. Dead, dead cool. Oh no, seriously, Hurst just missed next, isn't it? Okay, so that's, that's not actually dead. Good. Right, he did follow up though. For some reason. Block him with a ball instantly <laughs> because that's what I have to do to get the serve. And uh, that maybe wasn't the best play you've ever seen in your life, but it's surfing a tackle mighty blow, isn't it? So, like, I just literally had to do it. It was the law. That, that, that surf had to be made. Now I've got to worry about... <laughs> now what happens? I might have to go and stand next to this fella now. It's looking like I'm going to have to, isn't it? Not great. This is a wrestle blitzer, so I have to block him because he's got block. I guess I want to stay here to like keep that. If I follow, it's a weaker screen. And I can block this guy. Go for the surf in uh, four turns time. really like to 1D power this uh, this troll slayer. The problem is like if I, if I don't hit him, he could just hit and hit me anyway. I guess it's taken up their activations, isn't it? I guess I've just got to ride out this turn now and hope that um, hope that I survive being into contact with this guy and being in contact with this ghoul. <laughs> Obviously, didn't the surf did absolutely nothing, but um, it was great getting rid of a tackle mighty blow, even though he'd already done his job. Knocked down one goo and cast it instantly. 
diced. If he'd powered, then he could have uh, he could have got two dice on the ball, couldn't he? <laughs> oh dear God! Well, now he has the the problem of his runner getting surfed, at least. Instant pals with mighty blow. And another removal. Brilliant, wonderful, great. I'm so happy that I've made like four stuns. And he's just removing everything he breaks AV on. He did not he did not try to stop this guy getting served. I know it's turn five, but um I have to attempt the surf. A blockless block. Oh. Maybe I have to take the power. Eh? Yeah, I'll take the power. And then this block full block. Push in there so he's kind of like further away. Another blockless block. But I didn't want to do it with the ball carrier. And it's only a push. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Well, I really wanted the pal there. I kind of was kind of depending on a pal there, I'll be honest with you. Not getting the power there is pretty disappointing. I'm trying to dodge him. Well, hey. Okay, that's pretty good. Puts him under a lot of threat of getting served. Yeah, like using two more players to serve would have been pretty disastrous, wouldn't it? It's turn five for me as well. I think it was correct to just take the power. So his rudder's out of the game, isn't it? That's good. And he's got two players behind the ball. So he's trying to get it with three players now, basically. Three players will be left behind next turn. So it's looking pretty good. A pretty good break downfield right now. He probably should have just blocked with the lineman, right? So that he could blitz with Dauntless to take down the mummy. If he knocks down the mummy... That's very good for him, but um, he gets the power. He gets, of course, he gets the full power. Of course, he does.
instant and full. Uh, so I, was, I sized up to there so I could get out next turn. And, you know, up through here. But I didn't think about the chain push. The chain push just helps me because it gives me an assist for the block here. So if he pushes me to there, that's just helping me. Although you might think I'm putting him on tackle, basing the ball, it's just giving me an assist, isn't it? So he probably wants to push me back to here. It doesn't. So we do have the escape downfield. Safe moves first. Hit the push. That's all we need. This guy's got block. Hit the push. I can run up this way, can't I? Which seems prudent. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then one, two, three, four, yeah, okay, just here, I'm not going to do any GFIs, I think I'm going to be able to screen it, one, two, three, four, GFI, GFI, now, so at the moment, if I, if I go there, this guy can go one, two, three, four, GFI, GFI hit me, so one GFI seems prudent, but, I've only got one reroll, so I'm, I'm going to take a little bit of a risk because I do have to make this block. And he can go there, which stops that way. And this one can blitz here. And sticks him on the side. And that kind of stops this dodge off, right? One, two, three, four, GFI, GFI. Yes, that, that stops this dodge off because it would be like a 5 4. And then this block I could not even make, but then if I don't make it, he can 4 plus and hit me. So I guess I've got to make this block as well. And there we go. Never lucky. But it is a cast. So there you go. Blocking things with Mighty Blow is good. Even if you want in nine sometimes. Now I can do the end of the turn. Dodge GFI to occupy these this second guy. Which works. Wonderful. So that was pretty good, wasn't it? Obviously this guy's going to get punched, but him taking up the activation is more than worth it. I can even score next turn if I have to, because uh, he's dwarf, so he's not going to score a two turn in the rain, is he? <laughs> the zombie might get pile drive, yeah. I mean, he could have hit him with a pile driver anyway, right? But yeah, just now they're both like if if I hadn't done that, then uh, maybe one of them blitzes this guy and he marks the ball or whatever. Just makes it a bit harder, doesn't it, for him to get back around? <laughs> Pile drive is so unbelievably terrible, isn't it? Now tragedy. But you know, it's kind of a good thing because I always thought pylon was a stupid skill. Wait, he pushed? Did he think there was like a magical surf here? It is. Uh, it is later gone. It lets you. It lets you make a foul after you've knocked somebody down, um, and it puts you prone. And it doesn't even, and it uses your foul activation for the turn, so it's terrible. It's absolutely mind-bogglingly terrible. Yeah, I think I think he was trying to surf and killed him. You know, 
That's what that's what your opponents deserves when they attempt to fail. They attempt a surf that completely fails. They'll just kill your guy in the next block anyway. Good bit of justice there, if you uh, <laughs> if you love Blood Bowl. There you go. That's what happens when your opponent makes literally the worst player they can make. <laughs> They'll just kill your guy instantly afterwards. Fantastic. Good evening, Ali Radio. That's just crazy, isn't it? <laughs> That's just crazy. Hey, good skull. Doesn't even re-roll it. He's got. I don't know why he's saving his re-rolls for. He should be saving them from having his slayer not die, probably, but there you go. Let this guy and run away. If he wants to foul my mummy, he can. It's better than him knocking him over and then fouling him. <laughs> yeah, well, how could you take that many? How could you take eight skills on a dwarf team? <laughs> if it wouldn't, if you could take four power drivers and four guards, wouldn't you be better off just taking eight guards on a dwarf team and winning this tournament because they're letting you take eight guards on a dwarf team? <laughs> that seems like that seems like the better thing to do, Dementor. <laughs> like, I think it would be nice to see stuff like that online, like. I think having 10 skills on most teams is a bit ridiculous for tabletop, just because it's hard to track everything, isn't it? But in uh, online, we could have more skills than math style. Oh. Free bribe, yeah, that, that makes death rolls a little bit better, doesn't it? He did make a foul, never punished. Hello, Pedro. Just score, no, no need to roll dice. So got the drive done, got heavily outbashed because, you know, dwarves, it's what dwarves do, isn't it, they dice you, dirty dwarves, but you know, it should be a draw at least. Typical disgusting dwarf game, sad. Nine players, maybe ten. <laughs> what a thrill. There you go, Pedro. Yeah, lots of people turn up to lots of tournaments, don't they? When you think about it, if, if two and a half thousand people turn up to the World Cup, that means there's an awful lot of people who could go to like random tournaments, isn't there? It's only the most dedicated are going to the World Cup. So there has to be a huge population of tabletop tournament goers. I think I'm going to go to the big tournaments. Sam gave me a clue as to what the big tournaments were and uh, at some point I look at it and try and work out which ones I want to go
Oh, shut up. Okay, might lose. <laughs> Time out is one of the more annoying um, kickoff events, you know, because you can play perfectly. Not that I play perfectly, of course, but you know, you could hypothetically play perfectly and score on turn eight. And then the uh, game just says, no, I scored on turn seven and you lose. Now it looks like a genius for saving his two rerolls. Yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not too easy for them. It's in the rain as well. It's in the rain. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, he can't even hand off to a blitzer, so yeah. Yeah, this is pretty good. He's got a GFI pick it up in the rain. And then, like, have one of his two blitzers to hand it off to. So this, this should be okay still. Exactly, Pedro. I mean, that's basically the idea. I mean, I don't want to waste my time. I don't want to go to, like, little tournaments. Like, I don't want to go to, like, a 21 tournament or whatever. That's the point. Um, so I think... I can work it out, can't I? I'll work it out now. got a bit of paper here and it's got end of an era written on it. <laughs> <laughs> end of an era, Timmy. End of an era. <laughs> it's also got, it's also got uh, some players that I wanted to draft for my NFL team, my fantasy team. And I did, I, I did get two of them, so that was good. I've got a pretty good fantasy football team, by the way. Um, in case you're interested, what well, something Americans love to talk about is their fantasy team. I've got a pretty good fantasy team. I've got three, three very good running backs. Which you know, that's the they get the most points and are the most hotly contested position. I have three running backs, and there's twelve people in the league. Right, there's 12 people in the league, and I can tell you exclusively, <laughs> exclusively reveal I've got the 5th best, 12th best, and 16th best, which is pretty good when there's 12, like there's 36 slots, right? That's pretty good. I'm going to dodge and punch this guy. Get in. Run away. Do you know what? I should have dodged so that I wouldn't get knocked over by Mighty Blow. What team will I take? I'm going to take uh, Dark Elves. Dark Elves Uguay. I'm going to start playing Dark Elves in the NAF ladder. Um, and I'm just going to play Dark Elves, I think. I think I'm going to be like a Dark Elf main. I think that's going to be what I'm going to do. Because I don't really play anything like, like other people. You know, like, uh, for example, Olivier de la plays Gaven, doesn't he? You know? And... Um, PC for the longest time, played dwarves, didn't he, and stuff like that, right? So, uh, people kind of do have a bit of a main sometimes, don't they? And I've never had a main, so I'm going to try 
to have it be a dark elf main. Um, probably. Uh, did you get a ticket for Sheffield? Um, me? No. Um, the Sea Bros. Don't play Sea Bros build, it's horrible. I mean, Sea Bros did pretty well with Sea Bros build, didn't they? Mankiz did pretty well with Mankiz's build. So maybe the Mankiz build and the Sea Bros build are both alright. Neither of which are the K Fog build. And we all know Big Kev's pretty good at Blood Bowl. So. I don't really know what the what the right build is. I can experiment with all three, can't I? I can actually experiment with all three builds. So Seabros had a dodge. So everybody, everybody has. And P, so it's PW. So there's there's like there's basically, if if we think of Seabros as a good player. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's f and mankis. If we think there's four there's four possibilities, right? We've got C everybody has a Wrestle Witch Elf, a Block Witch Elf, and three Blodge Blitzers. Um everybody has that. Now the K Fog way is to take a runner and give him dodge. The PW way is to take two assassins. Um, the Seabros way is an assassin with dodge but only 3 dodge on the blitzers um, the Mankiz way was 12 players and 4 dodge blitzers so like just 6 rodge and blodge that's interesting I do quite like that so I'm leaning towards the Mankiz way or the Seabros way. But then I made a list which was only three blitzers all dodged up. A block and a wrestle witch and a dodge runner. And that gave me three rerolls. Which was interesting. That was interesting. Yeah, Jilly, that was that was basically what I made. You made this kind of same one that I did, except I had dodge on the runner, yeah. Because I thought, like, a block blitzer... Like, a skillless blitzer isn't that good, is he? Like, taking a skillless blitzer and, like, wasting 2k to a 20k is a bit rubbish. Or 30k. It's a bit rubbish, isn't it? So I thought... Yeah, I didn't like the rookie blitzer. I don't like the rookie. That's what I didn't like about Seabro's build. I just don't like having a rookie blitzer. It just seems shit, right? To pay 30k for, like, block and movement. I mean, that's not terrible, but, like, the point is, like, you, you're throwing away the other money, aren't you? That's the thing. So I thought, well, I could just not throw away the money and then turn that into a reroll. Funny enough, I'd rather have an assassin than a runner then, but you can't afford the assassin, I don't think. Or can you? Maybe you can, I was an idiot. But the Mankiz way is pretty good, isn't it? For just you just get six blotches. Yeah. Am I going to win with Dark Elves? Wow, Jimmy. Wow, Jimmy. Yeah, so there you see, you've got to go. You've got to go with the... Uh, With the um, All right, so I'm just gonna block the splits here. Oh, hey, removal, good. If he was serious about winning this game, he'd apple it, right? But you don't want to apple that when the opponent's got two strength five mighty blow guys. 
I'm gonna put these guys out to dissuade the uh, Troll Slayer Blitz. Don't wanna stand these up because they'll just get knocked down. And actually, leaving your LOS lying down is pretty good against dwarves because they're not very fast, are they? So you get a bit annoyed by having these down players that you can stand up at any time. Yeah, that's the problem, Seabros. You can't really do that. Hello, Dr. Hellboy. That, that's the problem. You you can't do that because you need to drop the... You, you then need to have the runner. Yeah, that's the problem. That's the problem. If you could have had the... If I could have had the assassin with dodge and three dodge blitzers and a blocker and a wrestler witch, then I, then I would have had that, I think, with three rerolls and an apple. Did you have a good uh, good Euro ball, Hellboy? That's the that's the important thing, isn't it? That's the most important thing, having fun. That's what people who don't win tell me. <laughs> right, blitz him first. A blockless blitz. I don't really want to follow because I just get knocked over. He can just stay back there, he doesn't need to go forward. So blockless block now, so just maxing blocks basically. Right? Keep him on the mummy. Keep these guys down for another turn. Yeah, that is very d tough, Elbow, yeah. That's the, that's a bit of the problem with orcs, isn't it? Orcs, you're basically just at the... at the mercy of the dice, like... It's hard to, hard to like, just play your way around things that happen, whereas, like, Dark Elves have got just enough survivability that it feels less dice rolly and just enough amount of elf BS... Then it feels like you've got something you can do. See, I think I'll I'll think I shall try to become a dark elf coach. Maybe I'll become as rowdy as sea brawls. Like maybe that's correct for uh, for tabletop, right? What's he called? Uh, Olivia Delac is a. Madman with rats, isn't he? Souls a madman with rats, and they're both got ridiculous win rates. So, I mean, you can have eleven men though with an apple, can't you? Like it's that actually stops the banging out more because you can apple a KO. But I like I like the mankers one of uh, of just blood all the blitzers. And now he's abandoned this player. Look, we get this player up for free. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I can hit the ball here. Right? 2D him, 2D him, 2D him, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, GFI. That's like actually really tempting. Put 
from two. Oh, to one. Okay, so I've got to do the blockers block first. Right, so stand him up. Should have done that already. I guess I want to see what happens with the ball. Do I even go for the ball at this point? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. GFI two dice in powder there. This guy goes one, two, three, four, five, six and tags him. So at least he, uh, he can't surf the ghoul. But he probably just picks it up next turn anyway, right? So maybe it's better to blitz here. Or even here. I mean, I could just, you know, cas him when I power him, right? guy and try to get to there. Yeah. Hmm. Man, this is a tough one, isn't it? Because I've got the 2 plus coming up, which I probably shouldn't have staffed. Like getting a blood stepper there is actually pretty strong, right? It's on the ball. Um, you could clear him, and then you could like one D him. But it's not easy for him to clear him. Go on, I'll re-roll it. Fantastic. Fantastic. Should not have re-rolled that. Imagine succeeding a dice roll. And I could have just done like the safe play right that turn. I could have just, th this guy could have like, you know, blitzed him or whatever and then assisted there and I could have just blocked and not gone for the ball. I don't know. That was really quite a big payoff though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and GFI. Like getting in there would have been amazing. And I still got one reroll left, so. Not too bad. You've got to balance, like, you know, having your rerolls left, but also staying in the game, right? And having a player there would have really been really good. I guess it didn't need the three and the two. It wasn't just the three. For some reason, I didn't even think of him hitting that way. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't. Yeah, that that blood stuff there would have been really nice. I think I think that was a good reroll. Just unlucky. Goodness, what a terrible block. <laughs> oh, he's got grab, it wasn't a terrible block. I was like, oh my god, he's pushed himself onto his runner, but no, he's got grab, it was a brilliant block. God damn it. God damn it. Flipping grab. Flipping grab. His rubbish random grab comes in clutch. I'm 
it's gonna blitz the girl. Oh! He's down to one reroll at least. Like, he cannot accept that. Only push? Well, hey. I mean, getting the ball safe now <laughs> might be a problem. There's still a uh, there's still a white up there, mate. I don't know what you. Uh... Yeah. So I can just one D him into a into a two D. Okay. So what I want to do now is again a little bit greedy. Gonna make the two safe moves first. I wanna see where this guy can move afterwards. I wanna block with a mummy here so that this guy can come in to cancel this assist so that he can blitz from here to push him to there to make this block better so I can block him again if I if I have to. So we're gonna make a blockless block. A shitty blockless block. Artemis will be furious. That also gives us the 3 plus out there later on if we need it. Right. So what the, the, the 3 plus here, essentially it's a 3 plus, isn't it? Um, uh, I think it's uh, I think it's probably worth it. I think it's probably worth it. I won't re-roll the two. Well, hey, just get a pal. Got to dodge away of that, there is no doubt. And I guess I've just got to get as far away from dwarves as I can. Which means here. You can double G if I hit me, but he'd need to get an assist, which. You can also get an assist, to be fair. I don't really don't want to GFI, though, do I? That's the problem. Could GFI one, then he can't hit me. But I really don't use my last reroll. <laughs> but I kind of have to, don't I? Oh. I kind of have to use my last reroll if I do the GFI. Right, now he just can't reach. I mean, he, what I can... This is annoying, because if I dodge this guy, then he can only base with him, but then he can chain him into, into actually hitting me. So I've got to make a second one, really. Brilliant play, not rolling ones. And now I can dodge this one out because it's, uh, if it fails, it's not the end of the world. And it stops him chaining this guy closer anyway. Onto the sidestepper or whatever. So. Fantastic decision, not roll ones yet. So how many players has he got? Three... Six, seven, eight, nine. Plus a stun. I also have ten. One of which is also stunned. 
Pretty good. Honestly, this isn't it? This is pretty good. That double G if I felt really terrible because obviously I'm running closer to my end zone, but there was no way to get a screen for him reliably. That is yeah, Ali Raider, yeah, that's that's a level five coach. I need to do a, a tier of coaches thing. Not, you know, ranking actual individuals, but you know classes of player. Because it feels mean to just mention other people's ones. No, no, not rating individuals, Demento. Like, beginner. Experienced. Veteran. Star. Legend. There you go. It's just like just like the blood ball levels. Perfect. I wouldn't rate you ninety one. <laughs> Don't worry about that, Demento. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> right, so I want to go over this side. Um, on the sideline, really. Then he can't, then he can't, he can only base, he, in fact he can't even base. So then the only problem is this guy. Stand this fellow. And then that helps that, doesn't it? And that gives me a 3D blitz with a mummy. That's two. And where do I go with the third square? So the mummy wants the zombie wants to go one, two, three, four and assist that block. So I guess I just follow here. And put him there. Block with block first. Even though it's kind of irrelevant, right? But it's with block and mighty blow, so. Push him a bit further away from the ball. I haven't got many players left. <laughs> I mean, 91 is very good. 91 is, uh, is... Store level is very high. I wouldn't rate store as low as a 91. And I, you know, obviously most people, you just got no idea how good they are at the end of the day. Play them, even if you play them once or twice, or seen one or two of their games. You know, you can't really judge them. You're not going to judge people accurately, are you? It's like... 
with Elliot's crazy, crazy system of uh, ranking people entirely accurate from 1 to 100. I don't know, but they just got to react to see where he goes, right? Just got to react to where he goes. Probably go, probably go down the field as much as possible, just to make it, you know, further for him to go to score, right? Like, with being 1-0 up. Um, it doesn't really matter what the score was, I guess. But, you know, like, with him being dwarves and slow, you'd rather lose the ball in their half than your half, wouldn't you? So... It's not even about being greedy and going, for, you know, for an extra touchdown. It's just trying to mitigate the uh, somewhat inevitable failure state because it's hard to keep this stalled out. Having said that, um, he's kind of letting us. get away here so he can he can reach me unfortunately but the mummy can go here and then he can blitz and like scream, right? I can actually start with the blitz. Can I? He can surf me. Maybe I don't start with a blitz. Does he start there? Then it makes it even harder for him, right, to uh, hit the ball. But then I guess it's only one dodge. Or is there... Yeah, let's go here. Okay. So let's see if I power him first of all. Alright, good. I wanted to like keep him controlled if I powered him. And then he can come back to there. Can he hit me? No, not not easily. That's pretty good. So now this guy can try to dodge out, right? To, uh, I guess, go here. No re-rolls. Just go for it. Good. And this guy like, could try a dodge. But he could also just take the punch, he can only get punched by this guy, and also if you freeze him then he could come back and stand on the ball with stand firm. That seems bad to free a stand firm. Huh? I guess he could technically fill in there and like chain this guy free, but if he does then he's chaining him back probably or something, so... Either way I think just keeping that guy occupied is fine. It was really good power, wasn't it? If I hadn't powered him, then uh, I would have had to stand here so that if he powered him then he couldn't blitz with a blitzer. So if I if I hadn't powered him, I'd have still had to keep them on the mummy. But then I think I'd have just gone there. I might have still had to come back here anyway because of this guy, right? Maybe not. So that's what I was thinking. I was thinking if I push, I'll stand here. With powering, I could stand there. But yeah, this looks this looks good now, doesn't it? Because even if he gets us down next turn. It's a long old way for him to go. Mm. Ah, but is it too greedy or punter? Like, that's the thing, right? If, if that handoff wins you the game, then taking an 89% to win the game is pretty good, isn't it? Dimmy did it against Hiru. Went for the handoff into the... Uh Into the uh, GFI. Just won him the game, didn't it? So 
Speaking of which, wasn't like the Dimmy game, like last night. I don't think I recorded it. Oh god. Oh, did I? Did I put it on YouTube? I don't even know if it's on YouTube. I'm bamboozled. When did Dimmy play Hero? Oh god, he's one deed me. He's dub skull. <laughs> Good. Three, four, yeah, yeah, put him there. And four. So now he's got to go three, four, five to a GFI. If I if I GFI, then he's got to roll five plus three plus. Better, isn't it? What about coming this way? You'd have to do a four, 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 three, four. No, three, four, five. Jeff, he couldn't go that way, could he? He's got to go this way. So I could go there. I guess I could just keep my reroll for the last turn in case he bases the ball somehow. Yeah. Okay. Punch this guy. One D this guy. Go for a foul. Dice. He's got a five three two two to one D me. Was for GFI'd, it would have been a four four five two two. So it would have been better to do that GFI. But he's got to do this without a reel. He's got to do a five three two two. Which you know, there's, there's more chance of him doing a five three. What what we can work out the literal chances of him getting the ball here. Um, because actually, I probably should have. Um, Done that extra GFI, right? So he's five, three, two, two, five. No, four. He's a uh, seven point seven percent to get the ball down now. Whereas I could have taken a three percent action to make that harder. So I probably should have done. But there's the concept of him just basing me, right, and me using my reroll, then I don't have a reroll to hit him, so it's not cut and dried whether it's better or not. But it was probably better to do this. I think mostly it's better to do GFIs in situations like that. Him scoring sucks. I, I just realised I was winning 1-0. I should have handed it off to, uh, to just a blocker. Never mind. Never mind. Doesn't matter. Silly Jim. Brilliant. So now this doesn't work anymore. <laughs> oh, cyanide. Okay, it does work. It just takes ages. So there you go, he made a 2-0 win. Good. Yeah, I should have handed off to the block guy. That was stupid. Oh, good. 2-0 win. And can buy the sec rebuy the second white.
Normally what happens with uh, undead is you have loads of money because nobody ever dies. But of course my team is just getting people injured all the time. <laughs> Standard. <laughs> Only got 11 players for the next game. Yeah, big mistake, I guess, scoring on the sneaky get dirty player. Uh, did he get blocked for um, 10k? Yeah, he did. He can just take sidestep, right? So I've got two blood steppers and then the rookie can random generals until he gets block or wrestle and uh, this mummy is four away I think no, six away fourteen it is for block so he's six away from block um, so yeah I mean two, two, two blood steps good isn't it Two blood steppers is good. Got pretty much all we need apart from skilled up whites, but you know, they died. They've literally both died. <laughs> Diced. Right, um, and still don't have 11 players. Right, thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.